Okay, Teddy is done. Well, he's naked right now. He's feeling very, very uncomfortable. But he won't hear in a second once I put his armor on him. So here we go. Figure out which way this goes. Alright. Let's go, Teddy. No, I'm putting his shirt on him now, and I still haven't gotten it sewn up. Because it falls down, because it's really heavy, and it's still loose around his neck. Because he, well, he doesn't really have any shoulders at all. He just kind of body and goes into arms. But, let me get his tail through the back here. Alright. I need to... Sew it up here under the arms, keep it up there, sew it up around his neck, and along the back of his neck, up under his arms, maybe a little bit on the tail, I don't know, it fits pretty well right there. As you can see, I still need to extend another row right out here. I should have enough rings to get that done. The split is done here in the front, so he can stand upright. I'm going to have to end up running wire through him to get him to stand up. And I will put on his headpiece here. And presto changeo, you go from a normal teddy bear to a battle hardened warrior, battle ready teddy bear. Isn't he so cute? Now, I saw something kind of like this at one of the Renaissance festivals. But you could only buy the bear. And I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. You get a bear. And it was like 15 bucks for the bear. They, like, took all the armor off of it and just gave you the teddy bear. It was kind of stupid in my book. So once I uh, get more aluminum, or once I order it, I'm going to start making these to sell, just like my jewelry. And once I get my website up, which it'll probably be a while because I'll have to make a few more of, well, just about everything. But once I get my website up, you'll be able to buy Battle Ready Teddies, hopefully in a variety of colors. And um, I have some of my friends that want some of their teddy bears uh, made into Battle Ready Teddies. And I will be doing that for them. I'm not sure how much they're going to cost right now. I really need to sit down and crunch some numbers on it. But this guy, I think I put about, uh, about $10 of wire on him. It, it's quite a bit of wire, considering I paid 30 bucks for a fourth of a mile. I don't really, I might have to find a better supplier of where I buy my wire at, because these little spools are like insane amounts of money for just a small amount. I think I got a hundred feet so there's about two spools of that on him right now so I have about 200 feet of wire and it's just crazy but this will probably be the last video I'll do you might see him in a couple of other videos where I'm gonna be promoting more of my stuff when I get closer to getting my website done but this is battle ready Teddy and dare saying we'll see you later bye